my uh, presentation will uh, concern uh, the renewable uh, marine energy and the opportunity at Dakhla and the region. And uh, I suppose you have the uh, opportunity to visit our stand. And we take this opportunity to speak about uh, the marine field in Morocco. Of course, uh, just give you a brief uh, overview of uh, our region, not only Dakhla but Morocco. Uh, the Moroccan uh, country is a part of Canaan current, a large marine ecosystem. So you are you have here the major Eastern boundary marine system around the world, mainly Canary current. Bagheera current, Humboldt current, California current. And if you have some observation, it was symmetric. Two, two ecosystems in the north and two ecosystems in the south. And they mainly driven by uh, upwelling activities because it's a very important region for fisheries, the canal current, and with the uh, <coughs> with uh, the phenomena, the process of upwelling events. It's uh, bringing uh, the waters uh, due to this false lake mountain sports, uh, the deeper uh, other nutrient the rich waters coming to the surface, and we have warmer surface and going offshore. And this is uh, the activities of upwelling, bringing the nutrients to the surface and gives uh, the riches of uh, uh, the water crop. This is a number. Give you also <coughs> process, oceanographic process or in, uh, for our country, in our coast. We have uh, 3,000 of kilometers on the Atlantic side, going from Tangier to Guyana. Uh, and 500 uh, kilometers of Mediterranean side. This is the main process activities in our coast. This map is climatic map and synthetic map from 20 or 30 years of knowledge, maps of knowledge. You can see some climatics, but this is the synthesis of our national observation and what we have until now tried to understand. So we have, of course, the Canary Current, the large Canary Current, we have the canary, uh, the upwelling current, we have the counter, uh, and the counter, and the counter uh, current. We have the, <coughs> this area is the frontal zone of all Atlantic central waters, South Atlantic central waters, it is the front change. And we have the uh, counter, uh, uh, The turbulence and activities offshore and inshore. This is for Atlantic side. For the Mediterranean side, it's different. We have no upwelling in, uh, in uh, near our coast, but we have uh, some activities about cyclonic and anti-cyclonic gyre here in uh, Mediterranean Sea. This is uh, statistic climatology of uh, some parameters like temperature, salinity, and currents for the Mediterranean Sea begin from January to December. Uh, and the same for monthly surface temperature, monthly surface salinity, surface current from January to, uh, to December climatology and gives you information about uh, this, the change of parameters, seasonal parameters during the year. And you can see the current here, as I present before, mainly a strong current here from near the coast and also offshore. This is the, uh, the, uh, the um, I don't know, I don't find the, La gamme, <laughs> la gamme, okay. Squid, okay, okay. Okay, my uh, presentation is 
focused on marine technology, renewable marine energies. This is the potential that we had, that we have in our coasts. Of course, we speak about the thermal energy, wind energy, wave energy, tidal energy, and uh, uh, some technologies refer to some technology referring to the, this uh, marine uh, technology. Maybe uh, here in this conference, we have a conference about innovation. And it is uh, based then the focus maybe on new technology. This is the standard technology until now. But we try to have investment in our areas and to, to have new technology on that. So for waves, you have for offshore wind turbine, barrage system, tidal current turbine. And from this slide, I will present some concrete case for our region in Dakhla. Because our region has a hook potential for that. I can present some uh, examples for the future, what we need. We need the new technology for that. We have information, we have studies and so on, but we need new technology for that. Uh, for thermal energy, we are in the appoiling area in Morocco. This is the seasonal appoiling here, and mostly strongly on summer. This is uh, the, uh, the strong gap pulling here during all the year in the south of Morocco. And here you, you can say I take one map, for example, the next for provision for uh, Copernicus Mercator, beginning for, this, uh, beginning for this day to the next week. And one example of sea surface temperature and the temperature at depth 100 meter. I take this example to, to show what can thermal energy could, pro could provide this kind of uh, activities. You have near the coast some surface temperature with this gain. And at 1,000 meters, this is a map of 1,000 meters of temperature. And you can see the contrast if you take for Dakhla. Dakhla is here. It's around 24 degrees. No. So if we take this latitude, you can see the difference. So we can have a gradient of temperature between deep waters and surface waters. And could be provide the thermal energy that we want. This is one example from thermal energy. The second is the wind energy. This is a map, a synthetic map of wind spin in Morocco, from the north to the south. And you have Hofmuller diagram about speed. And in the south of Morocco, the wind is all the time, and very strong wind. You can see in the map. So we have good hook potential of wind in our coast and hook potential for wind energy. This is the case, for example, of wind energy. This is a one potential uh, wind energy. <clears throat> and uh, some statistic from the north to the south. And I take uh, from uh, this study the statistic uh, of wind in Dakhla, it's very important wind there. An example of uh, wind roses for all the stations along the Atlantic coast. From the north, Cap Spartel, Safi, Sawira. This is the north the central part of Atlantic side and the southern part of Atlantic side. And of course, focus on Dakhla, where the wind is from uh, northwest direction all the time. This is the rose for one year. You can see in French, it was uh, Alizé, Les Vents Alizé. But you can see this is, uh, uh, sorry, northwest 
direction all the time and very strongly. I take also uh, an example. What we, we can take, explore this tidal energy. This is the bay of Dakhla. As you know, Dakhla has a big bay, the, most, the uh, best bay in Morocco. And uh, we have down, uh, I have done uh, studies of the circulation and tidal uh, studies for that. You can see it's weak. it should be and it could be important seat for tidal energy. Mainly we are very strong current there. This is uh, the connection with the sea offshore. And this is the entrance of the bay, the bay, sorry. So we have very strong currents and very strong tidal currents. So it could be opportunity to take this uh, kind of, uh, to explore more that uh, kind of uh, characteristic for future uh, investment on that way. Uh, for waves, we have national services, meteorological services. He gives uh, products and services for waves. And uh, uh, so we have uh, regular, regular services for that, for that. And we can have information from, uh, from this uh, national, uh, national services. So it concerns uh, the wave energy. One word about the green hydrogen production. You heard about the Offer of Morocco. This is uh, a potential of hydrogen and mainly in, uh, the, in uh, the south of Morocco. It's very important and future of energy. To try to conclude, we are in time. Thank you very much. So, Dakhla is the future. Dakhla is the front of the door of Africa in Morocco. So we have many opportunities of energy for that in Morocco because we have connection with Europe, we have connection with America, uh, United States and also all the American continent. We have connection with Africa, it's very important. Uh, Dakhla, uh, not mean only Dakhla city, but the region Dakhla Wad Dahab, it's the region, as you know, big region in the south of Morocco. And she has a big hook potential of marine energy, renewable energy. So she has a significant potential for the development of uh, renewable energy and the implementation of uh, sustainable development policies. Uh, of course, we have mobilization of local uh, and uh, national uh, contribution, public contribution. Uh, the, uh, the, con uh, the development of renewable energy offers significant opportunities, uh, like uh, creation of green, uh, green jobs, local skill developments, sustainable economic developments. Reduction of dependency on uh, fossil fuels, very important, and contribution to uh, carbon national and international climate change goals. And the message is to continue on this effort, very important. We are not re uh, reinvent the wheel, we continue on this dynamic, continue on this dynamic on this, uh, for this area to develop of course, renewable energy, sustainable development in Dakhla region, and to ensure sustainable and then resilient future for future generations. Thank you very much for your attention. This is my, co my, uh, uh, my contact. This is the contact of my colleague, Morad here, and contact for my colleague, Jamal. This presentation is on behalf of my my colleague. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Thank you so much, Karim. Please give him a round of applause. And if you'd like to ask questions, uh, Karim will be here on the left-hand side.
uh, feel free to ask questions one to one as and wish. But uh, 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 stay there. Uh, just oh yeah, break. okay. That's Thank right. you. But if there are any questions, please feel free to come to the front as we are a very small audience as well. Thank you so much as well. Give him a round of applause. Thank you.